What's going on everyone? Welcome to the fourth tutorial in the Escalate series. And in this tutorial, we are going to be looking at updating rows from a table in the database. So as always, we'll create a separate function for the update query. So let's do that. So let's say def update and c dot execute. And to update a row in the database, the SQL query is update and then your table name so people and then set so set will change the value of the column that you want to change so first let's look at the database and we'll open the browser and we have the table people and what we'll do is change the age of Tim to 28 so let's look at the SQL query to do that so update people and set the value of age to 28 and where name equals Tim, we we'll need to use double quotes Tim. So this query will update the table people and set the value of age to 28 where name will be equal to Tim. And if you want to use user specified values, then you can replace the value with a question mark. And then after the string, you can pass a tuple of values. So anyways, we'll keep the string as it is. So age will be equal to 28. And now when we update the table people, we are going to make a change to the database and therefore we'll need to use commit. So let's do that. So let's say corn.commit. And let's also print the table before we make any changes. So let's say get data. So this will call the function get data and we need to make a few changes so that we can print the entire table. So we'll remove the parameters and let's print the entire table. So we'll remove the where condition and we'll use star. So this should work. So we'll call our function update. So one thing to remember when working with databases is that when you commit the change, that is when you save the change, you cannot undo anything. If you update or delete anything from the database, you cannot undo the changes after using commit. So if you want to undo the change or go back to the point before the commit, the easiest solution will be to back up the database before you commit to the database. And we'll look at how to back up a database in the next tutorial. But for now, let's run this code. And you can see it prints the table and it doesn't cause any error. So it means that the data is updated. So let's refresh this. And now you can see it changed the age from 20 to 28. So it does work, but the issue with updating an entry using only the name column in the table is that there can be multiple people with the same name, Tim. And running this update query will change the age of all the Tims in the table to 28. And we definitely don't want that. So we need some value that is unique to each row in the table and using that value we can avoid such problems. So SQLite provides a unique row ID for each row and we can use that. And first let's print the row ID. So inside select we can do row ID and comma and then star. So this will print the row ID and everything in the table. So let's run this. And you can see it prints the row ID. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then your data. So now we can use this row ID to change the age to let's say 30. And this row IDs don't repeat themselves. So we don't have to worry about other age values changing to 30. So let's see how we can do this with Python code. So I'll close this. So inside the update query, instead of using the name, we can use the row ID. So let's say row ID equals one. And let's also change the age to 30. And we'll also print the data again. So now we can go ahead and run this. And you can see at first the age of Tim was 28. And after that we use the update query and now the age of Tim is 30. So this is how you can use row IDs to just update a single row in the database. And in SQL terms the row ID is also called as a primary key. A primary key is basically a column with unique values to identify the rows. So the primary key doesn't have to be a row ID. It can be anything like let's say a phone number. 
so everyone has a different phone number and it can be used as a primary key so any column in the table where the values are unique or non repeating can be a primary key so that covers about everything for the update query and we also looked at the primary key and the primary key is also used for some other purposes but for now just remember that a primary key is any column with unique values Anyways if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and as always thanks for watching subscribe if you learned something and see you guys until next time